what we are going to do today is talk about Bornhaber cycle. If you try to convert elements into compounds, there are a number of steps involved in the process. Bornhaber cycle kind of outlines all of the steps individually and helps us in determining the net energy change or we can find out the enthalpy change for certain steps in the whole process. What we are going to do is actually make a graphical representation of the energy changes that are involved during the formation of an ionic compound or even a covalent compound. But today we will be dealing with an ionic compound. Roughly there are five theoretical steps for the formation of one mole of magnesium chloride and that's what we will be seeing in the next slide. On the x-axis we are going to represent energy. If the energy increases, the positive sign increases, obviously representing an endothermic change. That's a general aspect that we are looking at in this graph. The opposite is also true. If energy decreases, the reaction will be considered exothermic. So all the processes that are endothermic will be written on the left and all the processes that are exothermic will be written on the right. So we have the y-axis and the x-axis which represents the reaction coordinate or the progress of reaction. Since we are trying to prepare magnesium chloride solid, we are going to start with magnesium solid metal and chlorine gas. And in order to do that, the first step would be to change magnesium solid to a magnesium gas. So the blue arrow that has represents the energy changed involved in changing magnesium to magnesium solid to magnesium gas. So the first step and the first arrow represents the energy change involved in that process. And it's obvious if you want to change a solid to a gas, energy has to be supplied to the system. So energy is being absorbed or the value of Q or delta H will be positive is an endothermic reaction. The next thing we are going to do is we have to change or break the chlorine-chlorine bond so that we have chlorine atoms and the energy required for that is represented in this step. Obviously for breaking the chlorine-chlorine bond the energy needed to be supplied is called bond dissociation energy. That changes again an endothermic reaction. So now at this point we have magnesium gas and chlorine atoms. Look at the subscripts for magnesium and the subscripts for chlorine. They are both in the gas state. We don't have diatomic chlorine atoms, chlorine molecules anymore. We have monoatomic chlorine atoms. So we have changed magnesium to gas, chlorine to gas in the atomic form. The next step involves changing magnesium gas into a dipositive ion. Usually, if you want to change a metal in a gas state to a positive ion, the energy required for that is called ionization energy. Or by definition, ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral gaseous atom. So here, magnesium being a dipositive ion, because it belongs to group 2, we have to remove two electrons. So, we have to supply the first ionization energy and the second ionization energy to remove two electrons. So, the implied meaning in this graphical representation is we are supplying ionization energy 1 and 2 together so that we will get 
mg2 positive so that represents the ionization energy and now what we have at this state is mg2 positive ions in the gas state we have two moles of chlorine atoms and we have two moles of electrons the, natu the natural progression of uh, would indicate that the chlorine atoms will react with the electrons to form chloride ions if you go back to your definitions which you learned earlier you will see that when one mole of chlorine atom gains one mole of electrons it changes into chloride ions along with it it releases a large amount of energy this energy is called electron affinity so this is what's going to happen right now we have two moles of chlorine atoms and we have two moles of electrons when the two combine it gives you two moles of chloride ions and a large amount of energy can be released in the process so that we will have a negatively charged chloride ion uh, you should also realize at this point chlorine has 17 electrons in its outer shell by gaining one more electron it becomes more stable and becomes a chloride ion which is having the same electronic configuration as neon which is a stable noble gas so that's the whole intent magnesium changed into mg2 positive by losing two electrons and it has the configuration of neon and chlorine has changed into chloride ions and it has got the configuration of argon so this is what would happen and the energy change is represented here magnesium ions we already have chloride ions are formed in the process energy is released and the energy is called electron affinity the next thing that is going to happen is the magnesium ions which is in the gas state at this point of time is going to combine with the chloride ions to form crystalline solid magnesium chloride there's a change of state and it changes into a crystal crystalline lattice so here tremendous amount of energy is released when the gaseous ions combine to form crystalline magnesium chloride the energy change associated with it is called lattice energy now magnesium chloride is formed and it releases lattice energy and you will find that's one of the largest quantities of energy released or exchange of energy that has taken place in this whole process so this gives us the final product and now we're going to look at something very simple we have changed magnesium solid and chlorine gas into magnesium chloride solid or if you are going to look at it as a single step reaction we typically are representing the energy change for the formation of one mole of magnesium chloride from its element which means we can actually calculate the standard enthalpy of formation of magnesium chloride the green arrow represents the difference in energy between the reactants and the products here there is release of energy in the process therefore delta H0F standard enthalpy of formation of magnesium chloride can be calculated from this graphical representation it's not drawn to scale but kind of gives you an idea of how we can determine standard enthalpies of formation taking into account all the different steps that the reaction involves so here change of state magnesium solid to gas breaking the bonds of the diatomic molecule to give you atomic chlorine absorption of ionization energy to change magnesium gas to magnesium 2 positive ions energy released when one mole of chloride ions are formed from its atoms and finally formation of magnesium chloride solid this whole graphical representation is referred to as the Bonhaber cycle 
And if one of these energy terms are unknown, we can actually find out from by using the rest of the values because uh, it's based on Hess's law. Now, I'm just going to give you the actual numbers involved in this calculation when we prepare one mole of magnesium chloride in the next slide. Changing magnesium solid to magnesium gas is requires 148 kilojoules. We call it enthalpy of vaporization. Chlorine molecules, one mole, changing into two moles of chlorine atom. We have to supply bond energy or more precisely bond dissociation energy. The change is endothermic, therefore plus 243 kilojoules. The next would be changing magnesium gas to magne magnesium 2 positive. Uh, the energy required is called ionization energy. It's 2190 kilojoules. In the next step, we are converting the chlorine atoms to chloride ions, and the enthalpy change per mole of chloride ions formed is 348. Since two moles of chloride ions are formed, we have to multiply that number by 2. The next step involves changing magnesium gas and chloride ion gas to magnesium chloride solid. And here the energy change involved is minus 2526 kilojoules and it represents the lattice energy. And delta H0F or standard enthalpy of formation would be summing up all these values and finding the net difference. So the endothermic reactions are 148 plus 243 plus 2190 kilojoules and the exothermic reactions are 696 and 2526 on adding them. The net resultant energy change is going to be 641 kilojoules since it has a negative sign Formation of magnesium chloride from its elements is an exothermic reaction. And this is the use of bond haber cycle. And it clearly outlines all the steps involved in converting elements to compounds. If you like the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.